brotherhood 50 and to add their brotherhood he said O my people worship God you have no other God besides him you do nothing but invent lies O my people I ask you no wage for it my wage lies with him who originated me do you not understand O my people ask forgiveness from your Lord and repent to him he will release the sky pouring down upon you and will add strength to your strength and do not turn away and be wicked they said O Hood you did not bring us any evidence and we are not about to abandon our gods at your word and we are not believers in you we can say nothing except that one of our gods has afflicted you with mental disorder who said indeed I call God to witness and you too bear witness that I have no concern with those whom you associate as partners with God besides him so scheme against me all of you and do not hesitate I have placed my trust in God my Lord and your Lord there is not a creature but he holds it by the forelock my Lord is on a straight path if you turn away I have conveyed to you what I was sent to you with and my Lord will replace you with another people and you will not cause him any harm my Lord is guardian over all things and when our decree came we saved Hood and those who believed with him by a mercy from us and we delivered them from a harsh punishment that was odd they denied the signs of their Lord and defied his messengers and followed the lead of every stubborn tyrant and they were pursued by a curse in this world and on the day of resurrection indeed Ad blasphemed against their Lord so away with Ad the people of Hud and to Samud their brother Saleh he said O my people worship God you have no God other than him he initiated you from the earth and settled you in it so seek his forgiveness and repent to him my Lord is near and responsive they said O Saleh we had hopes in you before this are you trying to prevent us from worshiping what our parents worship we are in serious doubt regarding what you are calling us to he said Oh my people have you considered if I stand upon clear evidence from my Lord and he has given me mercy from him who would protect me from God if I disobeyed him you add nothing for me except loss Oh my people this is the she camel of God a sign for you let her graze on God's land and do not harm her lest an imminent punishment overtakes you but they hamstrung her and so he said enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days this is a prophecy that is infallible then when our command came we saved Saleh and those who believed with him by a mercy from us from the disgrace of that day your Lord is the strong the mighty and the scream struck those who transgressed and they became motionless bodies in their homes as if they had never prospered therein indeed Samud rejected their Lord so away with Samud our messengers came to Abraham with good news they said peace he said peace soon after he came with a roasted calf but when he saw their hands not reaching towards it he became suspicious of them 
and conceived a fear of them, they said, Do not fear, we were sent to the people of Lot. His wife was standing by, so she laughed, and we gave her good news of Isaac. And after Isaac, Jacob, she said, Alas for me, shall I give birth when I am an old woman? And this, my husband, is an old man. This is truly a strange thing. They said, Do you marvel at the decree of God? The mercy and blessings of God are upon you, O people of the house. He is praiseworthy and glorious. When Abraham's fear subsided and the good news had reached him, he started pleading with us concerning the people of Lot. Abraham was gentle, kind, penitent. O Abraham, refrain from this. The command of your Lord has come. They have incurred an irreversible punishment.